And there it is. Oh my god. This thing in, is insane. Unbelievable. For a while now, I wanted to explore the world of wireless devices. And by wireless, I don't mean devices that work on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but specifically, I mean devices that work on the LoRa network. Uh, for those of you that don't know, LoRa is a platform that allows you to communicate with devices for usually quite some high distances. And as a first experiment for today's video, I've prepared two devices that I'll use to explore uh, the range that I'm able to get with those devices. So in theory, I want to see what's the practical application of those devices. And I'll be using these modules that were provided for me from a company called Rayx. I'll have links to their products in uh, the video description. The video is not sponsored, but they do provide the modules for free. So let's look at the modules and see what they can do. And here is the LoRa module that we're going to work with. It's the Rayx AirYLR998. And it's a LoRa based module that works on 868 megahertz and also 915 megahertz. As you can see, this module is extremely tiny. Uh, if I compare it to a paper clip, you'll see that it's like really just a little bit bigger than the paper clip itself, including the antenna. So that uh, is really good for working with devices that needs to be small. The module is communicated uh, through serial communication. So you can see we have the voltage plus the ground and also we have RX and TX for the serial communication. And we connect that to our microcontroller of choice. And we can send 80 commands uh, to and from the module to get data or to transfer or to change some of the settings. This board includes its own processor here. So everything is handled internally on the board. And the most important thing to note here is that this board is not five volt compatible. So it only works for 3.3 volts. And that's the reason why I chose to integrate this board with an old MCU board. Here is this circuit that I've prepared. Let me just put this in. I'm using software serial on the node MCU to talk with the LoRa board and that is then transmitting data to a second pair of node MCU and a LoRa module that I have. So the way that I have set this devices is that this is device one and this is device two. Device two will be sitting here in my home and I'll put it outside on a window so it doesn't have any obstructions and I'll take device one uh, with me. Both of them will be powered from power banks and this one I will be powering from my phone. Okay, so here's the setup with both of the devices. You can see that uh, one of the devices is powered from the phone and the other one is powered from this DIY battery that I made a while ago. You can check the video up in the corner there and the code that's running on these two, two devices uses one of the buttons that's here on the node MCUs and when I press uh, a button on any of those a message will be sent to the other node so for example from this one I'm sending a message over to the other node and that should be uh, displayed sorry I'm not connected here Okay, so you saw the other version. Uh, so a message is sent on power up to the other device and then this other device replays with the message that it received. But if I press directly on the second device, then it will send a message to this first one. So this one is device one and this one is device two. You can see that uh, we send the message hello from device two from here. And I also have a counter that counts each iteration as it happens. If I now press the button here, 
the message hello from dev1 with the current count will be sent to the second device and that device will also reply with the confirmation that it received that message so you can see up here we have the initial command command that was sent to the device we got an okay from the LoRa module that uh, this, the message was sent. And this is a confirmation that uh, Dev2 received the message from Dev1. And I plan to use this to determine how far I can talk between these two devices. So far, I've tested the setup within my house and it seems to be working as expected. And we'll see once I go out, I'll drive around with my car and try to see how far I can get these two devices to talk to each other. But before that happens, I need to wait for the weather so it turns nicer than it is now. The next day. So the receiving device is now ready and it's placed on my balcony and I will be driving down in the field and we'll see how far the devices will be able to communicate. So you can see that mostly it's open space, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm here out in my car and this definitely won't be easy for filming because I'm all, all alone. Currently, the device is out of sight, so it did power, but it was unable to uh, receive any data. There you can see we did send a package, but there was no response. So let's go to the first location that I know that I will get the response and I'll test it again. Okay, so I'm at point one, which is about 650 meters away from the receiver. And you can see that we actually managed to get signal. Let me try and... So we did send the package and we did the receive the message received. So we go further. We know that this thing works for at least 650 meters and that's uh, for with me being inside the car. So let's try uh, next one. Okay, so we are now about 1.3 kilometers away and let's try if we can still communicate. And we are so even though I'm in the car this thing goes for 1.3 kilometers on to the next point checkpoint number three we're currently outside of the city and this is about 2.3 kilometers I've measured all the distances before I went out and I'm gonna first try it out with me being in the car come on focus and we actually get a response let me try and block some of the sun here yes you can see there that we actually got a response for count three uh, let's do that once again and we send count four and we got a received message for account for and I'm not sure how much you are able to see this I'm still in the car but the other point is like way 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 back there 2.3 kilometers that's line of sight distance okay we're going further location number four I think um, because I skipped one that was too close that I tried yesterday while the snow was on and we are currently on this last location here 5.2 kilometers away and the receiver is way up there behind that uh, bush over there so next to that hill on the left and Let's see what result we're gonna get. I'm gonna try it while still being in the car. And we still receive, oh my God. Oh my God, that's like 5.2 kilometers away and I'm in the car. Holy, should it go even further? 
let's try that okay i'm a bit further down the road and i did lose a connection here on the usb but that's not the connection with the device so the count will now be reset unfortunately uh, but it seems like that we did not receive data now that was like a, just a little bit further than what we were before but i'll go outside of the car and then i'll try if that will work okay this is a bit difficult to be filmed but i'm outside of the car and i was able to get data i don't know how much you can see that maybe that works i'm i'm having difficulty seeing on the screen guys look at how awesome is this i'm way further down the road and i'm still able to receive responses actually not this time but i did receive another one let's try it out maybe my hand is bothering the signal like we are way off there it is There it is, count eight. And we're like way out in the field. And there's a big antenna next to us. I'll write down what the distance is, but it's like way far. I don't know, should I even go further? Guys, check this out. Way up there. It has to be more than like i don't know seven or eight kilometers let me press this and there it is oh my god this thing in is insane unbelievable i think we are on the border of what this device can operate at like currently it's no longer receiving but if i lift lift it up in my hand then it does receive hold on this is difficult with one hand And I'm inside the car. Oh my god. Like, how amazing is this? How amazing is this? Well, to be honest, that's quite amazing. I really had some high hopes for the modules. And to be honest, I was expecting something in their advertised range of about 3 to 4 kilometers. But getting more than 8 kilometers from this tiny devices was really amazing and to be honest i think that i can push them even further because of the way that uh, the setup that i have and but i just simply ran out of time to experiment a bit more and as you saw the weather was not really the nicest to be outside and to test electronics but we'll definitely revisit this once again to see how how much further that we can go there will be links in the video description for this modules and also the code that i used for this example be sure to check that out and also be sure to subscribe leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding the project or if you have any questions uh, for the modules and i'll see you all in the next one cheers